Uh, Dude, one time we were did schizophrenic a, breaks. We did some LSD, right? We were children, right? And so we went to the um, Waffle House because it was open, you know. Mm -hmm. Like when you were on drugs and you were a kid, you basically like that's the downside of having any place that stays open all night is like right. people are gonna come there. They're all yeah. on drugs. No yeah, one's okay. sober at Waffle yeah, House, yeah, right? <laughs> So we get there, dude, and uh, and we're in there, and my buddy starts laughing so hard. He's, like, uh, kind of convulsing a little bit, my buddy Scott, and the waiter was a uh, black gentleman and a gay guy, and we'd never seen a uh, gay black dude, right? So anyway, he starts doing the Heimlich maneuver on my buddy, right? And he wasn't choking. He was just losing his shit because he was so fucking geeked up on LSD, right? <laughs> So, bro, so this dude's doing a high leg. He's not even dude, choking. He's not even fucking choking. Did you tell him he wasn't choking? I couldn't speak. I was laughing <laughs> so fucking hard. <laughs> it was <laughs> unreal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, then how did he, did he figure out that your buddy wasn't, happened, bro? <laughs> I think I disappeared and just woke up in the sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> but man, I just, we laughed so fucking hard, this man. This guy's trying to give you a Heimlich. Oh my God. It was so much fun doing drugs when you didn't know what was going to happen. Mm. It was yeah. scary, but it was exciting, you know? Jamie, did you put another one of these down? Because I threw the other one. There was a, I asked... <clears throat> to find another one out there, and apparently that has some power in it, but I don't know. It's, it. not, it's not new. I know that. Give it a whiff. Do you have a beverage on you, Jamie, that I can have? What would you like? Uh -oh, it's nothing. Okay. Nothing, man? Throw that no. away, too, then. I want that hard hitter, baby. I want something that's going to fucking teach me something. Oh, that's the what? Mm. That's the what? That's the There's one coffee on the table if you want some coffee. Uh, there you is? want something oh, okay. else? You no, want a kill clip? I just want something, yeah. You want a kill clip? <laughs> yes. <laughs> can we get a couple of kill clips? Yeah, oh, man. Oh. Mm. Um, dude, it was so cool to see Ron White and talk to him oh, last night. Man. He's the best. Bro, I walk in. Yeah, he's in there. Mm. Tom Segura's in there. He put a lid on that. I so felt like I'm going to have one more. One more. Oh, God. It's, you know I'm an addict because I know I look forward to this. I look forward to it, too. Yeah. Do I, am I an addict? I mean, a little bit. Probably. I'm a functional addict or something. Yeah. Wait, you. If you're an addict, dude, you've redesigned it because you're doing good at it. <laughs> yeah, that's I feel problem. like it can be done. <laughs> there you go. That's a zero. <laughs> I feel like there's certain addictions that can be managed. Yeah. <sighs> you've had one of these, right? Yeah, they're great. Yeah, this is my own. Oh, yeah. You got your own. And so does Israel Adesanya, this is right? Flaming Joe. Yeah. It, Israel Adesanya has a Kiwi one. Yeah. It's nice. I talked Kill to clips. this guy one time on the phone. He's a really nice guy. Oh, he's the best. John's the best. And we got a, a, a new one coming out with a, a compilation, a, a mm. collaboration with me and uh, Cam Haynes. It's a spicy, yeah. spicy cherry called Elk Blood. Ooh, ooh nice, boy. It's, it's good, dude. It's Keep good. hammering, dude. We, we went through like, the, I had to go through like seven or eight versions to get to this. To mm -hmm. This perfect, which I think is like the perfect flavor. This one is a um, pineapple, uh, like a spicy pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's like pineapple with a little bit of jalapeno. Pino in there. This is a very addictive drink. Yeah, I like having me a little something. I didn't have any caffeine all day today because I wanted to wait till I had some in here. Mm. You know? You manage that? Yep, I was like, I'm waiting until I get in there, and it's going to be exciting. Yeah. I'm going to have it when I get in there. What's the know? most time you've ever spent off of caffeine? 30, I would say 30 days. I had uh, Michael Pollan on, and he was explaining he took, I think he took like three months. Is that what he said? Something like that? Three months off of caffeine, and he said when he had it, he was like, it was like a psychedelic experience. Wow. He's like, it's so different when your body's not accustomed to caffeine, and you have it. It's like... You have this insane feeling of bliss. It's like it's really wild. Mm. Yeah. Well, we were doing that. Uh, remember, I used to do those vapes. Remember? Mm hmm. And right I now, I quit those. Oh, me too. Too addictive. And I didn't like it. Yeah. And it made me tired. Like I was tired. Oh, I'd have a couple hits, yeah, and you start to shut like down this, a little. Like, uh, yeah. But the first hit is magical. Ugh. The first hit, I take a big puff and it'd be like. Oh. Like everything just washes over you, feel so relaxed. Yeah, it's brain cells dying. Mm. <laughs> it's like, it's, like again, it's getting stupider where everything's gonna be okay. Because <laughs> I feel like the more smart you are, the more you take into account all the possibilities and all the variables and all things can go wrong. But one hit of that vape and you're like this. <sighs> yeah, 
Oh, yeah. But then I was always chasing that dragon. Yep. And then later on the night, I'd notice I'd be hitting it and nothing would happen. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, what am, what am I doing here? Yeah, I couldn't. I think we did Esco bars or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then one time I went into a place and the lady's like, this is the strongest one they got. This yeah. bitch is the strongest. She's like, every hit is like smoking five cigarettes. That's what she would say, dude. Like, and then she would fucking hit it. And no joke, her hair would curl, dude. <laughs> Smoke's coming out of her ears. <laughs> yeah, like, <dang. laughs> this bitch like hitting five cigarettes. And <laughs> he fucking hit that bitch, boy. Yeah, I haven't fucked with the vapes in quite a while. But uh, I have friends that still hit them all the time. Mm -hmm. And you see like, oh, I see that. I see that little demon that's in your body. I'm about six days off right now, and I'm yeah. really battling, yeah. Oh, you're battling still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to see somebody with one. That's the tough mm, moment for me. Yeah, you just want to grab it. Give me a hit of that. Yeah. So last night, I didn't see anybody with one. I took a couple puffs off a cigarette, though. I hadn't had that in a few years. That was fun. What made you uh, quit the vape? I didn't. It keeps me up. Mm. It keeps me just rattling, you know? Like, you a ever think of nicotine. Your, you ever think your car is still going, and you push it, and it's off? Right. Like that. Mm. Yeah, you're just up. Yeah, my thing's still going. And it was late, and you're up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not I'm good. fucking up, dude. It's also like, it can't be good for you. All that oil, you, you, that mist, and you would, like, sometimes you'd feel it in your throat. Yeah. Your throat would get all dry and fucked up because it's irritated from all the oil. Like, what is in there? Like, what's a Google Esco bars? Like, what are the ingredients? Like, what's the, what's the oil they use? I mean, them that bitches are mist. good, though. Now, if oh, you're yeah. running across the border, if you are doing long, di like, if you are long distance cycling or something, I think have one on you. <laughs> Propene glycol, a vegetable glycerin, natural and artificial flavors, and nicotine. Mm -hmm. All right, but what is that? Is that bad for you? That's got to be bad for you. Is the additive safe? It's a synthetic food additive that belongs to the same chemical group as alcohol. It's colorless, odorless, slightly syrupy, generally recognized as safe by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe those people, though. Mm -mm. FDA, they're all in cahoots. FDA considers the average daily uh, dietary intake of uh, 23 milligrams per kilogram of body weight to be safe for persons 2 to 65 years of age. Maybe. But what about vaping it? Google vaping. Is vaping propane? That even was from 2008, and I don't think that existed mm. then. Oh, uh, vaping didn't exist then? <clears throat> 2008. Do you remember people doing it back then? I don't think so. I, mean, I remember I used, they had those little brick vapes. I used to huff gas and stuff, but that was different.